I can't believe this. <laughs> Three more food recalls, y'all. I mean, honestly, I've got all three pulled up. They're going to go all into one video. Three links will be in the description box. But for those who cannot read the links, I'm going to do a quick uh, going over. All right, because if you have these products, you need to listen up and get rid of them. Return them to the store. Get your money back. That's what I would do if I could drive. Unfortunately, I get my stuff through Instacart, which there's no way to return an item when you use them. Okay, first one. Newsweek online says over 38,000 pounds of beef recalled by the USDA after not being inspected in the U.S. Where did it come from? Okay, I'm, I haven't read them yet, so I'm reading them right along with you as I tell you. The JBS Food Canada is recalling over 38,000, <clears> excuse me, pounds of boneless beef head meat. Beef head meat. Is that like head cheese? It's kind of gross. I used to work in a deli very short time. I got scared of that blade thing. We had to cut off slices. People wanted it so thin. I thought, I'm going to cut my finger off. I was only 17. I didn't last long on that job. <laughs> anyway, that was the grossest stuff I had to slice. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Memories. Boneless beef head meat that was not presented for import re-inspection, which had been deemed a high-risk recall. According to the announcement made, boy, they're determined to not let food come in the country and feed us, are they? Although I'm not so sure I would eat that. Beef head meat. Head meat. Brains? Come on now. According to an announcement made According to an announcement made, I think they're supposed to be the word by the U.S. Department of Agriculture's, Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Services on Thursday, the raw, frozen, boneless beef items were imported on July 13, 2020. Following this, the products were processed by another company into ground beef, but not resubmitted for inspection. The following is subject for recall. Okay, 80-pound boxes containing... Eight ten pound chubs of Balter Meat Company seventy three twenty seven. You cooks ought to know what that means. It's seventy three percent meat, twenty seven percent fat. Ground beef with a use by freeze by dates of August nine. 2020 or August 10, 2020. Pack dates of 072020, 072120, or 072220. Okay, and lot codes of 2020A. Or 2030A represented on the label. The product subject to recall bear establishment numbers EST 11126 inside the USDA mark of inspection according to the announcement. You know, they could just say that and people would return them or throw them out. And there's less food to eat. These items 
were shipped to, I'm sorry, I'm, forgive me if I'm sounding a little paranoid these days. These items were shipped to distribution centers in Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina for further distribution to retail locations. So, let's see. JBS Canada, part of JBS USA, is a leading processor of beef and pork in the U.S. and the leading processor of beef in Canada. It is also a major shareholder of Pilgrim's Pride Corporation and has its headquarters in Greeley, Colorado. Okay, and there is a picture of uh, the labels that it would have on it, but it's the numbers that I gave you. Moving on to the next one. There is a salmonella out. Wait a minute. Get out of there. Wanting me to sign up. There's a salmonella outbreak in 48 states linked to backyard poultry. Oh, now they want you to be afraid to eat your own homegrown chickens. And more people are infected than in years past. How many is more? A hundred? Let's see what it says. This is by Scotty Andrew of CNN. Communist News Network. There is a video I'm just going to read. Salmonella 101, what you need to know. Oh, that's the video. Over 900 people in 48 states have been infected with salmonella. And their illnesses are linked, likely, likely linked. To backyard poultry like chicks and ducklings. The outbreaks aren't uncommon for this time of year, but 2020's outbreak has sickened more people than in past outbreaks, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. That's our great CDC. As of this week, 938 people have been infected with salmonella in 2020. Cases have nearly doubled in the last month. 473 people got sick since last case report in June, the CDC said. At this time last year, 768 people were ill in 48 states, though two people had died. The CDC reported. Now, wait a minute. Didn't that report I just did earlier on, what was it, red onions having salmonella? Nobody died? Or maybe, maybe they did, and I don't remember. It gives you diarrhea, upset stomach, that kind of thing. You can get very dehydrated, and you can die if you don't go to the hospital and get IV fluids and medications to stop the diarrhea. All right, I'm not reading any more about this one. That's They want you to quit eating your backyard chicken. Cook it well. All right, this last one. Jamaican Tasty Patties. Jamaican Tasty Patties, LLC, recalls meat and poultry patty products produced without benefit of inspection. Hmm. Reckon they do it that way every year or just this year? Congressional and Public Affairs, Crystal Okanada, and there's a phone number, 202, that means Washington, D.C. Health risk, high. Washington, July 28, 2020. Jamaican Tasty Patties, LLC, a Miami, Florida firm, 
is recalling approximately, oh, I got to make this bigger. It didn't work. View, zoom in. Okay, there it did. Sixty thousand four hundred and they're recalling approximately sixty thousand four hundred and fifty seven. It's pretty precise, isn't it? Pounds of meat and poultry patty products that were repackaged, relabeled, and redistributed without the benefit of federal inspection. I smell a rat. Don't y'all? Three, three of these just came up. <sighs> Meat. And don't eat your own backyard chickens? What are you going to do? Just go chop their heads off and bury them? Or maybe you'd like to sell them to the local dog food manufacturer and let them grind them up into dog food. No, don't do that. I'm just kidding. Oh, gosh, I can't already read. Okay, that's better. All right. Forgive me. All right. If you have any of this in your refrigerator, you're going to want to know it because it's been repackaged, relabeled, and redistributed without the benefit of federal inspection. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service announced today the firm also applied the mark of inspection of another federal establishment without proper authorization. The bait and unbaked frozen beef and chicken patty items were produced on various dates oh my gosh well I hope you've already eaten it how old is this article July 28th 2020 they were produced from September 2018 through July 2020. The following products are subject to recall. View labels. So you can click on that. View labels. Oh, it's a PDF only. The 18 ounce boxes containing four pieces of authentic Jamaican style tasty patties, jerk chicken turnovers baked with various sell by dates represented on the label. 18 ounce boxes containing four pieces of authentic Jamaican style tasty patties, beef turnovers. Spicy beef baked with various sell-by dates represented on the label. I guess they want you to just throw it out if you've got any. They're not giving you the dates. 18-ounce boxes containing four pieces of Jamaican-style tasty patty turnovers. Curry chicken baked with various sell-by dates. 18 ounce boxes containing four pieces of authentic Jamaican style tasty patties, beef turnovers, mild beef baked with various sell by dates represented on the label. This is a 112 ounce or seven pound cases containing 24 pieces of authentic Jamaican style tasty patties beef turnovers, spicy beef, unbaked. With the, this just kills me. You know what I would do? I would keep it. I would cook it well, and I would pray over it. 
The products were shipped to recall bare establishment number established EST period two two three nine zero. Oh. Yes, that's a nine. Or P is in Paul two three nine zero oh. inside the USDA mark of inspection. These items were shipped to retail and restaurant locations in Florida. That's what I figured. The problem was discovered during the FSIS surveillance activities, which determined that the firm repackaged the beef and chicken patty products without the benefit of federal inspection and used the mark of inspection from another establishment. There have been no confirmed reports of adverse reactions due to consumption of these products. Anyone could, did you hear that? There have been no confirmed reports of adverse reactions due to consumption of these products. Why are they recalling them then? Because they weren't inspected by the right people. They, they are causing a famine. I, I honestly if I had any of these, I wouldn't have, wouldn't throw them out. No, nope, not me. I'd cook them as they say. I'd cook them the way as long as they said, and I would pray over them. There's no re, re, no confirmed reports. Anyone concerned about a reaction should contact a health care provider. FSIS is concerned that some products may be in restaurant and consumers' freezers. Restaurants that have purchased these products should not serve them. Consumers who have purchased these products are urged not to consume them. These products should be thrown away or returned to the place of purchase. FSIS routinely conducts recall effectiveness checks to verify recalling firms to verify recalling firms notify their customers of the recall and that steps are taken to make certain that the product is no longer available to consumers. Did that make sense to you? FSIS routinely conducts recall effectiveness checks to verify rec recalling firms notify their customers of the recall sounds like a live exercise to me and that steps are taken to make certain that the product is no longer available to consumers it's a recall effectiveness check enough said I'm out of here. Talk to you later.